okay so let me start the today's class so we have already started about the auditor internal and the external auditor right so today we'll be starting about the finance management and the finance manager so what do you mean by finance management at first the management word is here and the finance word is here finance we already started that the meaning of the finance is the um, activity related to fund activity related to money and management means the proper way of uh, dealing with it so what is finance management finance management refers to the managing of the fund of the organization proper smooth uh, proper management of the fund ensures the smooth operation of the organization as i have said already for opening any sort of organization any sort of business form we need certain sum of capital certain sum of money is needed for that but uh, if the proper management of that money of that capital is not done in a proper way then what happens the business will be in risk the business will not be running in a smooth way there should be the uh, smooth running of the business so that it will last longer so if somebody is just planning for opening a business for a short period of time and uh, gaining a lot of profit no then we must know that uh, while opening a business business will not have a profit at a time uh, expected time may not have it okay so we always have to keep in mind that when there is a proper uh, funding activity so when there is a proper management of the uh, finance or the funds uh, then only the uh, business will run in a proper and a smooth manner the success or the failure of the achieving the intended goal of the organization largely depend upon the management of the fund of the organization so what will be the objective what are the goals of any uh, business firms so any business firms will have uh, different sort of goals most of the business are opened with the objective of earning profit right so uh, most of the organization either it will be the poultry farm either it will be the school either it will be the uh, hospital or any sort of organization it will have the objective of um, it will have the goal of gaining the maximum profit that is the profit maximization theory another is uh, if the um, business is open and business will produce some of the products like biscuits like fruits uh, like um, juice okay so such type of uh, manufacturing company such type of manufacturing unit will have um, sales maximization theory sales maximization theory means um, maximum selling the ma making the strategy for maximum selling of the product and it is automatically ensuring the maximum benefit maximum profit so uh, there are various types of theories and strategies with the help of which uh, the um, business are open and the most important objective is um, one is the profit maximization theory and the another goal is the um, another goal is about the sales maximization and another goal is uh, to have provide the service to the public and nowadays there is a, um, a train like uh, form train that most of the business firms will be involving in the social activities so that it will gain the popularity now uh, the theory has been theory of that profit maximization have it up it been changed um, so that the business firm will gain the profit also and they will be popular also so that they will be in the top level so that is the objective of any firms therefore a well um, okay so therefore a well experienced skill and efficient finance manager is needed for the smooth operation of that organization in terms of financial activities so finance manager manager those person the person who will manage the funds of an organization so he will be hired uh, by the shareholders or the stakeholders and they will um, provide the responsibility to that person for managing the funds who to allocate the funds suppose if the manufacturing company is there then the manufacturing company has to allocate some money some of the funds for the raw materials some of the funds for the market some of the funds for the production so how the money are allocated in each department so that is very much important in this um, fund management or the finance management and that is the important role of the finance manager 
finance manager is a higher level profession who is in charge of managing finance in an organization so the finance manager so to be a finance manager you have to study hard also and um, yeah you must have the critical thinking critical way of thinking and way of dealing because every time the business firm will not have the money no every time the business will not be in the profit only so during in such type of harsh condition unfavorable condition how the finance manager have to deal they, they must have the critical type of thinking and creative way of dealing with the obstacles so this is about the finance manager and finance manager is also a higher level professional why he is a higher level professional because he has gained the um, bbs or mbs or mba or bba uh, degrees and uh, after that also he or she will be trained with the financial skills skill development program will be there after that also uh, he or she will be having this experience of certain level uh, as an official level then only he will be uh, hired as a finance manager in certain uh, business organization okay now the minimum entry qualification how uh, can we be the um, finance manager for being a finance manager we must have the bba or bbs or mbs nowadays masters is uh, a compulsory type of thing but minimum criteria okay but minimum criteria for uh, being entering um, uh, for being a finance manager in context of nepal is the bachelor's degree and in bachelor's also we have to complete the bachelor in business administration here the bba is here bachelor in business administration another is bachelor in business studies another is bachelor in business management so these three courses are easily available in nepal in different countries uh, in different colleges of nepal uh, this are these courses are easily available most of the time bba and bbs uh, are most uh, common subject nowadays and how can we study that we can study after uh, plus two either we'll be uh, taking the science stream or the management stream after completing plus two science or management we can apply for business of uh, bba and we have to give the uh, cmat exam also so that uh, examination we have to be prepared for that and that is the entrance examination conducted by tu or any sort of university will be conducting such type of um, entrance examination okay and uh, the duration look the duration is now uh, previously it was of uh, year wise that is annually examination would have been taken and it was a year uh, year wise course but now it's a semester wise course so semester means um, so there will be two examinations um per annum per year so eight semester will be there in each of the um courses of bba also bbs also and uh, bbm also and only after this uh, you can apply for finance manager but also it's really very hard to get uh, the um, the job of finance manager directly because you don't have the experience and you don't have the master degree you know what uh, nowadays people with the master degree also if they don't have the um, proper experience certificate a proper skill certificate then it's very hard for them to get the job like a finance manager so after completing masters you better get involved in some sort of a skill work or trainings related to finance and um, then only you can uh, apply for this job related to finance manager okay so the major role of the finance manager as we know that finance manager is a higher level uh, human resource in this finance uh, career so the major role are finance manager is a response is responsible for managing the budget of the organization we know that he will be responsible for managing the fund he will be responsible for uh, managing or allocating the funds in different fields like i have said uh, if there is a bank okay suppose banking sector is there if the banking sector is there then uh, they will be allocating fund in uh, different fields um, some bank will also allocate the uh, allocate the fund in the publicity also in the market also they will be allocating different sort of uh, funds for that 
and while providing loans also different kinds of um, facilities are being updated every time in the banking sector so uh, this is like a competition within a bank we know that in chitwan um, chiton city is known as a um, city of bank how many of you know that or not city of bank city of hospital so many banks are there no so so many hospitals are also there so it's like that it's uh, it's like so many opportunities are there because so many banks are also there uh, but also opportunities are there but it's very tough competition are also there so we need to be very tough we need to be very competitive we need to be very talented for getting a job otherwise we can start our own business as a finance manager as a businessman or as, as an entrepreneur so that is the different case another finance manager is responsible for providing the financial advice to the management of the organization so since he will be managing the fund he knows what what are the pros and cons uh, for dealing into the financial activities so if the organization is thinking of spending more on the less valuable thing suppose of if the organization will spend much more money on the furniture only or for the making the business form attract uh, more uh, much, much attraction for making people attraction towards the um, attracted towards the business firms so if that organization is only spending money in that uh, making uh, is making the beauty uh, for making the organization beautiful only for making uh, the furniture attractive only then what happens is that the money which which is to be allocated for the proper profit maximization that will be decreased so finance manager should uh, should always be very critical in thinking that he should be uh, making that organization um, to go in a profit maximization theory so if the finance manager is responsible for providing the uh, proper financial advice and uh, the management of the organization if they will do according to the finance manager have said then of course the uh, funds will be there and the business will also run smoothly finance manager is also responsible to develop the external relationship to create the new sources of fund now you can see um okay so for funding method you have also seen the uh, sometimes the share is open the you have you might have heard about the share market or not so there are the fpo and ipo um so share market is there in that share market is also a type of fund collection uh so that fund collection and um, how to deal with that uh, that sort of sources of getting the fund now finance manager is responsible for that okay i'm giving you continuously giving you the examples also uh, how the finance manager will be dealing if you become a finance manager then you have to be responsible for all these things okay finance manager is responsible to coordinate various financial activities of the organization it's already done finance manager is responsible for supervising the various financial aspects of the organization of course he will do it financial activities means everything supervising allocating the funds coordinating the financial activities everything you have to uh, be very responsible if you are the financial manager of an organization and financial manager is the responsible for overall finance management to run the organization smoothly as we know if the funds if the money is um run smoothly the money is allocated in a proper way then only it will uh, help the organization to operate smoothly so the major role of the finance manager finance sector is one of the most important sector it is a very sensitive sector also why it is sensitive sector now look finance is very important but it's more sensitive it is sensitive because this is the sector which have to deal with the money and uh, while dealing with the money we have to be very careful way to spend way to uh, collect the money from and how to allocate the money if a small mistake will happen then the whole organization whole employees uh, working in that organization they will have to face the risk 
they will have to face the problem that's why it is a very sensitive sector therefore the professional uh, related to finance are very sensitive the professional involved in the in this sector should be well qualified well trained well experienced the scope of the profession related to finance is increasing day by day in this modern business world and uh, you can see that nowadays most of the people are involved in the business they are um, starting their startups they are starting their business career as an entrepreneur as a um, local level entrepreneur also they are uh, establishing themselves as a businessman and why it is being uh, now it's being like a train to be uh, to open a business so that's why now it is called a modern business world at this time uh, there are the challenges in this field in, with the opportunity now you can see why there is a uh, competition there is so many competition within a people because most of the people are educated most of the people have have completed their second university degree also second university degree means um, master's degree so master's degree they have completed uh, first university degree that is bachelor's degree they, most of uh, the people have already completed so after getting the completion of the degree after having the degree certificate after getting the skills from and trainings from the different programs by getting this sort of things also there is a huge competition now how will you present in a job interview how will you speak in a job interview so look communication in this sort of thing is very much important how will you be able to communicate with the people how will you be able to develop your confidence in front of the uh, shareholders in front of the management team who is taking your interview so you have to be very very a lot and you have to practice a lot to get the proper opportunity that you wanted so due to the advancement of the computer and the information technology financial activities are also computerized and modified within uh, with the modern technology therefore being updated to the modern computer technology is very essential for any human resources who wants to involve and develop their career in the financial sector now uh, the financial sector is not only related to the communication and it's not only related to the fund so beside that also how the computer system will be managed because financial sector is related directly related to the computer uh, with the help of the computer technology different sort of um, systems are there within a bank also you can see sometime sometime we can hear that um, if you go to the bank and uh, you can hear that there are some sister errors so you have to wait some people in the um, bank will be saying you so so why that is happening because that is happening because of the system error and that system is related to computer so the modern computer technology are very much important for every sort of human resources and uh, who who are interested to develop their career in this financial sector